Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be picking the books, the classics, the classic literature that I want to read in 2024. Because I feel like I need to read a couple of classics every year and slowly make my way through the canon and gain better understanding of the old literature which influenced the new literature. I have a, a few stacks of books here next to me. First we're going to go through all of my classics that I own and then from them I will be picking which classics I want to read this year. So I have a couple of really old books, a couple of newer books, some modern classics, some not so modern classics, but let's go through them all and then we can pick out or we can pick out together, but really I'm going to do the picking out and you're just going to be here for the ride. Which books I want to read this year. Okay. So, first we're going to go through the leather-bound classics that I have. Most of which are not mine, because I'm borrowing them from my dad. Going through them from top to bottom, I have Vile Bodies by Evelyn Waugh. I read this book last year and I loved it. So that one is off the table. I'm not going to be rereading any classics this year. Then, next I have Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. And then, uh, this one doesn't have a thing on the front, but it is, in fact, The Black Tulip. I don't know if you can even see that. The Black Tulip by Alexandre Dumas. So, a French classic, which has been translated. Then... I have The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. And lastly, another one that doesn't have a front cover thing, but it is The Scapegoat by Daphne du Maurier. Then, moving swiftly along to some other classics. These are Penguin Classics, Collins Classics, Paladin, all a lot of different publishers. First up, we have Last Exit to Brooklyn by Hubert Selby Jr which I have not read yet. I, ha I started reading this many years ago, but I didn't even get through the introduction because I just didn't feel like reading it. Then I have The Portable 19th Century African-American Women Writers. This is a collection of different pieces by different African-American women writers from the 19th century. Then we have the Black or the Berry by Wallace Thurman. The Years by Virginia Woolf. Orlando by Virginia Woolf. The Tenant of Wildfeld Wild. I can never say this name properly. The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. And I absolutely love this cover. This is my favorite edition of these books. Then we're going to go through a few modern classics and then we'll probably swing back around to the older classics. The Secret History. Yes, I know what you may be thinking. The Secret History is not a classic, but actually it is. It's technically considered a modern classic, so I wanted to include it in this list. And um, I kind of want to read this book, so I'm putting it on this list to motivate myself. Then I've got a couple of the Penguin Modern mini things, mini editions. They're very small, very small, and they make me very happy. I have The Veiled Woman by Anais Nin. I have Food by Gertrude Stein. The Custard Heart by Dorothy Parker. And The Breakthrough by Daphne du Maurier. Then I have Whose Body? by Dorothy L. Sayers. Some classic murder mysteries I'm very excited about. Then I have a copy of Women in Love by D.H. Lawrence. Fanny Hill by John Cleland. The Story of an African Farm by Olive Schreiner, who was a South African author. And I'm very excited about owning a copy of this book. Then I have Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. Tess of the D'Urbervilles by Thomas Hardy. Anthem by Ayn Rand. I should actually keep these two together because they're even they're the same editions as well. Then I have Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. 
The Moon and Sixpence by W. Somerset Maugham. The Snow Goose by Paul Gallico, which I have read. Pollyanna by Eleanor H. Porter, which I have also read. And then lastly, Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf, which I have also read. So these three and Vile Bodies are off of the list. We have struck them from the list from the get-go because I have already read them. Now, from this mess of a stack that I have made next to myself, we're going to pick a couple of classics that I want to read this year. The first two that I already know that I want to read this year are Whose Body by Dorothy L. Sayers and The Secret History by Donna Tartt. So those are two, my two first picks for the year. <laughs> a long one and a short one, which is great. I'm going to try and balance them out between longer books and shorter books because I know that I read slowly and I won't be able to get through a lot of long books. I don't think I'm going to read... What is The Moon and Sixpence even about, to be honest? The Moon and Sixpence seems like an interesting book. I'm going to add this to my list. And then I'm going to add... What else? No, no Thomas Hardy for me at the moment. No Jane Austen for me at the moment. D.H. Lawrence, no. None of these are really striking my fancy. Piquing my interest. I don't know what to call it. Um, I do want to read one of these little Penguin Modern Classic selections, editions. What do they even call them? They literally just call them Penguin Modern. So, I have three, four, six, and eight. I don't know out of how many, but anyway. What do I want to read? I think I'm going to add The Breakthrough by Daphne du Maurier to my list because it's a little piece of fiction and I want to get into Daphne's world. I've heard some differing views on Rebecca. Some people love it, some people don't, even though it's not even on my list so I couldn't read it if I liked two. And then I have The Scapegoat, but The Scapegoat is again quite a long book. So I think I'm going to start out with this small little Daphne du Maurier book and then get around to her longer works at some point. I think I'm going to add one more classic to my list of the year and it is going to come from this middle stack. Oh, but now I'm seeing all of these and I want to read them all. <laughs> but I can't. I mean, I could, but I don't. I'm not going to. Um, so between, we're going to be picking between The Tenant of Wildfell Hall, Orlando, The Years, The Black or the Berry, The Portable 19th Century African American Woman Writers, and Last Exit to Brooklyn. To be honest, while I was preparing to make this video and I was looking through my bookshelf, trying to think of books that I would like to add to my list of things to read this year, the one that stood out to me the most was this portable 19th century African American woman writers. And I kind of, I bought this book actually quite a few years ago now, thinking that I would read it and then be able to discover some new writers that I would want to read some more books from. So maybe this is the year that I read this book. It was also a nice book because I can pick it up and put it down as I please because it's not one continuous long story. It's a bunch of shorter pieces of writing by lots of different people. Okay, so there's eight sections. So I could technically challenge myself to read a section a month and then I would spend eight months reading this book, which I think might be the way to go because each of the sections is quite long. So I'm gonna be adding this to my list. And then the rest of these books can all go back onto my shelf and I will read them at some other point in the future. I really do want to get back into Virginia Woolf's writing because I want to read more of her stuff but also there is only so much of her book, her books, her writing, her works that I can read since she's no longer producing any new works so I kind of want to keep them, squirrel them away as some people would say so that I can read them over my lifetime. But also, I kind of want to read them all now and then I can just reread them in the future. I might do that. But anyway, these are just the thoughts that are, are happening in my brain 
sometimes while <laughs> I'm thinking about what to read. To conclude, here are the five classics that I will be adding to my TBR for 2024. They are, in no particular order, The Breakthrough by Daphne du Maurier, The Moon and Sixpence by W. Somerset Maugham, The Portable 19th Century African American Women Writers, Whose Body by Dorothy L. Sayers, and The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I must say, I think I've picked a good, a good mix here. Some mystery, some more thought-provoking work, some essays, some just light and fluffy stuff. I don't know which one of these is going to be the light and fluffy stuff because I don't think people in the classics section really wrote uh, light and fluffy. I think if I wanted that I would have to go to Jane Austen, but I'm sure there will be some light and fluffy stuff in between. <laughs> there you have it. There's my list of books to read this year, classics to read this year. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up to let me know. And I will see you all again next week with another new video. Bye.